Hi, and welcome to another video. In this video we will show you how to use masking and contour. The only thing you need is an image or a prime license, which you can order on www.design-gecko.com slash no-ads. So, let us start. At first we will process our image like usual on image R. We will set the width for our image to 160mm, the DPI to 254. If you don't know the DPI of your laser, check the video in upper right corner. After we resized our image, let us click on material. For this image I will use the CO2 algorithm. And will engrave it on wood. After we are done with that click on download and save the image as BMP. Now we can click on masking in the top menu. Click on upload and choose the image we prepared before in image R. We want to use a defined shape, so let's click on choose defined shape. For this image I will use this weird broken rectangle, should look cool. So, what you definitely should do, is to save the mask you used with a right click, and clicking save. I will explain you on contour why we need that mask. Now we can click on import. You should see the image shape like the mask you have chosen. I increase the size on the right slider to the maximum, so we have again our 160mm in width. Great, click on save your image and save it as PNG. Next step is the contour in the top menu. So, now I will show you why we saved the mask before. If you would upload the image in the mask shape on contour, the SVG would look like this. But we want and need straight lines, so we will upload our saved mask instead. You can see now that the lines are way straighter with no gaps or anything. Let's save this now by clicking on download. If you use RD Works, like me, you have to do now some more steps. If you use Lightburn, you can import the downloaded image and the SVG and engrave your image directly. On RD Works you can import transparent images, but there's an easy workaround. Click on Image R in the top menu. Upload your image which you downloaded from the masking feature. Now click resize but change nothing, leave everything like it is. Now we can download the image as BMP and can import it in RD Works without any issues. Next problem for RDWorks is the SVG contour file. Unfortunately RDWorks also does not allow importing SVG files. So we search on Google for SVG to AI converter. Click on Conversio and upload your SVG file. Click on Convert. Download the file after as AI. Now we can import the AI as well. Since the outline is way too big we need to resize it. So make sure to enable the lock next to the size settings, so it will keep the ratio. Now I will set my width to 160mm. Fits perfectly. The last thing we have to do is running the job. Let's prepare another image with another shape. As before, we will adjust the image in image R.
then we can move to masking. Download the mask and click on import. Now we can download the image from masking by clicking save your image. As before, we need to go back to image R and upload our masked image again. Now resize without any changes. Download the file after as BMP. Great, let's head over to Contour. We will upload the mask we downloaded from masking. Click on download in Contour to save the outline as SVG file. Convert the SVG file to AI with Conversio. Download the AI file after it finished converting. Import the BMP file into RDWorks, as well as the AI file. Since the AI file is too big, we will decrease the width to 160 mm, same as the width we set before on image R on our photo. Again, the last step we have to do is pressing start and run the job. I hope you learned something about masking and contour and will use it in future for your projects, it is really amazing. Thanks to everyone for watching this video, I will attach an image of the results at the end. I wish you a lot of fun using Imajar and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like and a comment. Also we give away an Imajar online 1 month license for free. You only have to like, subscribe and leave a comment. The winner will be determined 14 days after uploading. Bye!